Music can grab your viewer's attention, it can hold the viewer's attention, and it can make a huge difference in video quality without a huge investment. But this process has its own nuances, real problems that beginner YouTubers face. In this video, you will learn where to find music, what kind of music for what types of videos is better to use, and how to add music to your video. My name is Arthur Weiner, this is the Movavi Vlog, and let's start with the most important thing. It's important to understand that when we talk about music in a video, whether it's a movie or a video on YouTube, it is the choice of music that matters because it can fundamentally affect the result of your video, both for the better and for the worse. And when you watch some kind of video or movie, at first it may seem that the image has more influence because I look at the screen, that what matters. But in fact, it has been proven that it's music and sound that have a much stronger effect on emotional perception in any video project. Music helps to literally manage the emotional state of the viewer and greatly affects the final satisfaction of the audience from viewing. And of course, it greatly affects retention on YouTube. This will also affect the better only from understanding how sound and music work in a video. And for you to better understand the essence, look at this sequence of shots. This is absolutely the same editing in all three cases that differ only in color correction and selected music. Look at these shots and try to imagine what kind of scene this could take place in. What do you think of this character? What is he going to do? And in general, evaluate your emotional state from viewing. Now, I think we all can agree how much one music can affect the emotional perception of the same scene. In the first case, he just went out for such a calm walk. In the second case, he may be planning something bad to do. And in the third case, as if something magical was about to happen. And now you are probably thinking, how will this information help me? I make videos on YouTube, mostly talking to the camera, and yes, in Indeed, such subtleties are more related to storytelling. Such subtleties are very important there. When some influencer sits in the shot and tells something, everything is much simpler, but the logic remains the same. And believe me, even in such a simple video as this, where it would seem that you just put music on the background and that's okay, you can screw up very easily. There are subtle points that are very important to consider. And I have prepared two examples for you. The first example is good, such a conversational video, and the second is not very good. Look at them now, one after another, and think about where the emphasis is shifting. Let's start with a not so good option. I think you all guessed a long time ago that YouTube is about money, but we never touched on its most profitable side. How to sell your services on YouTube. I think you all guessed a long time ago that YouTube is about money, but we never touched on its most profitable side. How to sell your services on YouTube. The same video, but how much the emphasis shifts. In the first version, we first hear some music from, I don't know, Pirates of Caribbean, probably. And first we pay attention to the music, then to the presenter. This is bad. The viewer will turn off the video quite quickly, but in the second case, we clearly hear the voice of the host. It comes to the fore, the music emphasizes energy, and we clearly perceive the information. This is exactly what is needed in this video, and I want to remind you right away about a secret Movavi sale where Movavi Unlimited is available at a good discount. Movavi Unlimited is the unique annual plan that includes the best from Movavi in one intuitive platform. There are tools for video editing like Movavi Video Editor Plus itself, photo retouching, screen recording apps, and a set of utilities for work and study. On top of this, Movavi Unlimited gives you one year access to all the effects that the Movavi effect Store has to offer, which means all the backgrounds, intros, filters, and of course, style templates are 
are just within your reach. And you won't lose much time on learning. Even sound editing will take no longer than five minutes. Every step of the creation process from converting raw footage to editing effects to your video project might be done in just a few clicks. Movavi Unlimited will help you create high quality content and make your ideas come true. Unlike professional software, Movavi Unlimited is accessible for many users. Its annual subscription plan includes 10 programs and a huge collection of effects at the price of just one app. And the best thing is that you won't need a top-of-the-line computer to make the platform run smoothly. The one-year subscription to Movavi Unlimited is now available at 85% off on the exclusive Movavi sale. Hit the link below to use this or any other special offer from our secret page. And before we start editing, we need to find the right track. So let's go straight in order. Source number one. Absolutely free and perhaps the most accessible on YouTube is the YouTube Music Library. How to find the YouTube Music Library? Open the Creative Studio and in the left panel, find the Audio Library tab. All the tracks appear in front of you that you can download and use right now. You don't need to specify anything else, everything is so simple. Download, insert into the video and upload to YouTube. There are such simple tracks, but if it's just a background, it may work quite well. And the second nuance is that there are not so many of them, but it's definitely one of the good options if you don't have a budget at all. The second source is no copyright sounds. Open this channel and any playlist. There is music for gaming or electronic or indie dance. That is, here it is more techno-oriented. But you can use it for free. For example, let's open this track, open the description, and here the nuances begin. To use these tracks, you need to copy this text with links to the description of your video. Other than that, you don't need to do anything else. You can use all the tracks that are on this channel within YouTube. But here is what to keep in mind. These tracks are placed on copyright sounds with the consent of the authors. That is, the author distributes the track at will. And let's say it could be like that most most likely not, but it could be that up to some time, after a couple of years conditionally, the author is like, no, I don't want that anymore. Now it's just for money. And you may receive a notification in the mail that monetization has been disabled for you. Most likely there will be no strike, just turning off monetization. But don't worry too much because the probability of this event is very small, but there is a possibility and you should keep that in mind. There are also similar to no copyright sounds, Trap Nation, Bass Nation, SoundCloud Library, and also Vlog No Copyright Music. Moving on. Source number three is Artless.io. Everything is quite simple here. According to the conditions, you pay once a year or once a month, and it will cost you around $200 per year. There is a section with music, with sound effects. The music here is quite high quality, and you can use it wherever you want even in films, but it's paid and not very cheap. The source number four is epidemicsound.com. And how do they work here? It's a subscription format. They give you 30 days for free, but as soon as they pass, they start charging you. You insert a link to your YouTube channel and then you start paying regularly once a month or once a year. While the subscription is valid, you can safely download and use as much as you like on the linked channel. The music here is of high quality, but again, this is a paid service. And, and I would not say that the conditions are very favorable for beginner YouTubers. Because when you're just starting out, you're not completely sure that you will be doing this particular channel for a long time and the money for the service has already been paid. At the start, I would not consider such an option, but in the future, great, keep in mind. And I want to give you tips that will help you find the right track for your video much faster and much more efficiently. The first tip is to search by mood. That is, we go to the mood section and there are a whole bunch of moods here. But specifically for YouTube videos, for most YouTube videos, I advise you to look for something more optimistic, cheerful, which will keep the viewer engaged. And in this case, I advise you to look for a mood either uplifting or exciting or happy. I have found that these are the moods that work best for YouTube videos. And of course, do not forget to combine moods with other filters later for a more accurate search. That is, in what genre do you shoot and with what mood do you film your footage? Keep this in mind when searching for music and you will definitely find the right track that suits your video. And the second tip is perhaps the most effective, which will help you find the right track very quickly. Look at the audio waves of each track. You can immediately see which of the tracks is more constant and which is 
more jumping, sometimes quietly, sometimes loudly. And what is it good for? Such jumping tracks are more suitable for videos where you can clearly hear the music. It can be a commercial, for example. This makes it more interesting to watch and helps increase retention. But constant tracks are more suitable for conversational videos. Something plays in the background, the music creates a mood, but at the same time does not distract. So you need a more constant track. So download a few suitable tracks and upload them to the Movavi video editor. I downloaded four tracks, why four? Because it suits the length of the video. I understand that each track is an average three minutes long. If you scatter it around the entire video, then you will see that it's a bit more than you need, which is perfect. Download a little more so that you have a choice. I got this edit without music and I put my voice on track one. Put it on one track because in the future it will help us a lot. The rest of the tracks will be used for music. And to make your voice better, go to All Tools Audio Editing and find Compressor. After playing with these settings, the voice becomes much clearer and stands out through the music. The first value is the threshold, which is where you want to set this peak volume. To hear the result, it is better to set ratio to some minimum values. Attack is how intense your compression will be, roughly speaking. With release and output gain, I advise you to play around because it's quite individual. And last but not least, you can move the blend to mix the original sound with a new one. Well, listen to the difference, it's definitely better. A long time ago that YouTube is about money, but we never touched on its most profitable. Drag the music to the second or third track and our main task is to make sure that the music is heard well, but not so much that it interrupts the voice and distracts the viewer. We open the same section with audio editing and find the equalizer. By the way, there are several templates here, including voice processing and music processing. Try to apply them too, but now it's not about it. We'll do everything manually. Pick your track and our goal is to lower the mids. Why? Because the voice lies approximately in the middle frequencies. Accordingly, if we lower the middle frequencies in music, then the voice will be heard better. Therefore, tweak the values approximately like so. Well, if you want to learn not only about editing music, but also about copyright, then check out this video and this one about editing and see you in the next one.